Hello, everyone. How are you? Do you like the grand, you know, introduction? Um, it's been a week since I made a video, so I thought I better get on it. Um, today I was going to talk about something a little bit more serious in regards to being a transgender person. Um, since being, uh, going, taking some, uh, courses in college, I've, you know, really been aware of my surrounding what, when what's going on. And I was, you know, uh, the previous video mentioned that I was approached and sort of accosted by two young, two young guys, you know, uh, what's that, what's that? And they were two young guys, not one young guy. Um, and then one young guy, it, you know, saw what happened and came and gave his, you know, opinion, even though it was still very ignorant, in my opinion. Anyway, why, why is this happening? Uh, you know, years ago, being a transgender woman, especially a transsexual woman, it was more of a folklore thing, wasn't it? It was like, it was happening on TV and the movies and books and magazines. It wasn't really in your face, right? So it was a peculiar thing. Um, even though transgender women have been around for a while, the prevalence of, you know, being really integrated into society and, uh, is happening just recently. And, and then, you know, people aren't used to seeing us in person now, because like I said before, it used to be something you only saw in movies and stuff and books, whatever. So it's very interesting that, um, now that people walking down the street can maybe see, or, you know, if we're clockable and, and I do, I think I'm clockable a lot of the times I don't, you know, uh, live in a delusional world about what I look like and sound like and, and stuff like that. Um, and now it's become, because it's become so prevalent in society, it's become more dangerous for us. So, uh, case in point, people, you know, transgender women being murdered left and right. Um, and to me, it's because it's the power in numbers thing. And as a, uh, people who are once marginalized, you know, the gays, um, you know, people of different races and stuff, um, in the, the more westernized societies, European societies, um, it, it's one of these collective things. So now if somebody was once marginalized for these other things, they get to join the big groups uh, and, and attack us or discriminate against us, right? Because it is a collective hate thing that garners acceptance from groups that you were once not accepted by, right? So if, if this, if you can't understand this, it's like, you know, as a, a gay person, I'm sure, you know, it, it's, you know, any kind of marginalized group. I don't want to just pick any, any uh, marginalized group out. But when you think about it, you know, we as humans, we love being part of a group. We love being a collective part of a group. It feels good. It feels good to be accepted. And um, especially if you're different, right? So, you know, people are compromise their own personal beliefs and values to be accepted in a big group. So now marginalized groups can join in um, and attack us because now they have a common thing they can hate upon, which is transgender people. And, you know, one person is less powerful than a group of people when you in this sort of situation. So being visible now is for us being dangerous and dangerous from everyone. Like we have to really, you know, wake up and smell the coffee, you know, transgender folk, because we can't count that the gay community has our back. Um, just to give you one example, um, I, I myself have I've mentioned before, I have gone into a situation, I went to a party with my friend who had come out and um, embraced her lesbianism. And so I remember going to a party and, and then I was cornered by like three or four, you know, lesbian women who were like, who do you think you are taking our womanhood and blah, blah, blah. 
I was I was shocked. I'm thinking, you know, oh, I'm in, you know, the company of, you know, gay people, so I'm going to be accepted and stuff. Well, not. That's just not the case. So, you know, and, and the reason I'm talking about this is because I am very, very fearful for, you know, my community as we become more prevalent, as we are living our lives, our true selves out there. And a lot of us who you know, it's visible that we are transgendered people and this should not be a problem. Like we should, it does, shouldn't matter that we are, we have masculine traits if we are transgender women. It shouldn't matter that our voices are lower, that we're tall or that we have some shoulders and stuff or we don't have, you know, the proper figure. So, but what's happening is that you know, the, the, the groups of people are banding together and pointing us out. You know, we, what's, what we have to do is start breaking down those barriers. So being brave and um, speaking out, being vocal, you know, trying not to hide and, and, and not be seen is probably not going to help. But again, you know, it's your choice how you want to live your life, you know, and for decades and decades, you know, transsexual women have hidden. So, you know, they get their surgeries, they get all that done, and then they hide, you know. You know, oh, I'm a woman and stuff, and I, you know, personally know transgender women who are living married lives with husbands and children, believe it or not, um, and their whole community does not know who they are. Because as soon as they know, if they come out, and, and this woman was is quite fearful of this, that as soon as she comes out, she is going to be clocked and then the whole community is going to turn against her. And that, but uh, that's what she feels. She probably isn't, f you know, far off the mark. That probably is, probably would happen. Um, so, you know, the, the, uh, this person, you know, feels powerful because they are accepted in this collective group in society. And, you know, you can bet that it's rare that if if she's in this group and somebody says something about a transgender person, she's probably not likely to speak up. Because if she does, what, what, why are you saying that? And then they might take a closer look. I don't know. Um, again, this is not me judging anybody because I, you, you live your life how you want to live it. I'm living my life how I want to live it. I personally don't live my life ashamed and embarrassed of being transgender. I don't hide. I don't wear a sign. But when I need to, I'm going to say something. Like when the thing happened to me at the college and those two people, you know, did that, I went to the college and I put in a complaint. I typed everything up and said, you know, something's got to be done. Because what what it, what it is, it's not me just defending me being transgender, but it affects, you know, my homework and, and doing the work and, and, and the purpose of why I'm at the college, right? And anybody who, who is facing that, that's the whole point, right? Your, their, your purpose in life. Our purpose in life isn't being transgender. Our purpose in life isn't being, you know, the body. Our purpose in life has to do with our goals and our career and family and love and stuff like that. This is just part of who we are. You know, it, it's not our, you know, reason to exist, right? Does anybody agree with this or am I just speaking out of my butt, you know? Uh, you know, I want to, I wanted to talk about this. I'm so sorry if it doesn't make sense and I'm so sorry if I offended anybody, but the fact is, you know, I'm almost 50 years old. I've lived a long life and I have been living as a transgender woman for over a decade, way over a decade. So, you know, I have some experience and I, and I, and I watch and I look and I look outside myself. I don't just, you know, me, 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 me. I look outside and see what's happening in society. And especially as transgender people become more prevalent, it, it is something to think about. And we, as a, this community, we're on our own and we have to fight for our, our right to live in this society. Nobody else is going to do it for us. The gay community is not going to do it for us. All other marginalized communities, racial um, or, you know, 
territorial where you come from and stuff. Nobody's going to help us. We have to do it ourselves. And God bless all the brave transgender people who are out there risking their lives, risking their reputations to say, hey, we're here, we're not going anywhere, and we're not hiding anymore. So food for thought. And if you have any comments, good or bad, put it down below. And, you know, we all, again, have a right to our opinion. And as a transgender person, I do have an opinion. Um, no, many may not agree. But, you know, hello, I'm speaking my mind. So <laughs> I'll shut up now, okay? You all have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.